And I, I know when it's getting good, too. I just look over here.
Yeah. You have your outer cumulus cloud. Outer strategy. Y'all know I've been practicing these words. <laughs> Amen. They cover between 6,000 and 20,000 feet. And then you have your cyrocubulus and the cyrus cloud. Yeah, they cover about 18,000 feet in the air. But then you have your cumulonimbus cloud. Lord have mercy. And they, 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 they go from 6,000, they go all the way up to 50,000 feet into the atmosphere. Clouds serve as barriers. Yeah, they keep the earth from getting too hot. Yeah, researchers estimate that clouds' current net effect on our planet's atmosphere is to cool our atmosphere. To put it in layman's terms, clouds help keep the atmosphere in balance when the climate changes. You know, living in Florida, and for our guests, you don't know the weather will change. It'll be this way one day. And it'll be another way the next day. And sometimes it'll change on you in the span of 24 hours. But, but, but there's a, another cloud in our text today. Yes, yes. The Bible says within this cloud, the glory of the Lord resides. Yeah, yeah, not not just any old kind of glory, Grandpa. No, no, no. Shekinah glory. Beloved, the word Shekinah comes from a biblical concept that describes the presence of Yahweh in a certain location. Yeah, Shekinah derived from the word Shekinah and is used to describe the abiding, the dwelling or the physical manifestation of God in the time-space continuum. Yeah. Yes, when Shekhan appears, something has to move. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, when, when Shekhan appears, somebody has to move. Now, now, I want to help you now, uh, 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 because somebody is going to move in this house today. So I want you to put your neighbor on notice right now. Just don't tell them, excuse me if I bump you. But when Shekhan shows up, I, I, I got to move you. You don't know what's going on in my life. You see me in church this morning. I look like everything is all right with me. But if you would have saw me last night in my closet, if you would have saw me two weeks ago uh, walking the floor all night long, you would understand that why when Shaqan shows up, I got to move. So just go on apologize to him right now. Because some of y'all, y'all, y'all might have closed up in here. You don't have a whole lot of room to spread out. But but somebody is a move in this house today. Yes, the, 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 the word Mishkan is a derivative of Shekan. And is the Hebrew word for tabernacle. Yes, Mishkan, therefore, means dwelling place or the dwelling place of him who dwells. In other words, the local address of the God of the cosmos is Shekinah. In the Hebrew, in the verse, Shekinah simply means to take up residence 
in a neighborhood for a long period of time. All right. Yes, when, when God is Shekhar, it means that he is dwelling long term in the midst of a neighborhood or a group of people. Therefore, the Shekinah glory was then and is now a manifestation of God's actual presence among his people of God. Yes, in the Exodus, uh, the 25th chapter, uh, the 2nd through the ninth verse, the Bible says that God spoke to Moses and said to him, tell them to bring me an offering and build me a sanctuary so I may dwell among them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, it's not, it's for our benefit that, that God says to bring me an offering to the tabernacle so I may dwell among them. And he says, he said, speak to the sons of Israel that they Bring me an offering. And, I, and he said, you shall take an offering from every man that gives it willingly with his heart. Oh, my God, my God. Your heart got to be right. But listen, li 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 listen as I describe the offerings uh, that he says you should bring. Uh-huh. And this is the offering which you shall take of them. Gold. Silver and brass, uh huh, and blue and purple and scarlet and bleach linen, uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Receive the goat's hair and the ram skin and the dyed red and sea cow skins and the acacia wood. The the oh yeah. Make sure you bring some oil because I don't need the light. To go out in uh -huh, the tabernacle. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell them to bring some spices, yeah, uh -huh, for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense that, that needs to fill the house. And uh -huh. I want some stones too. I need some onyx stones. Uh -huh. And the stones are to be set in the ephod and in the breast, in the, in the breastplate. Uh -huh. And let them make me a sanctuary so that I may dwell among them. And then he says, according to all I show you, Moses, the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments of it, even so you shall make. Let me paraphrase right here that in verse 9, bring me something, an offering that is, that represents what I have done for you. I, I'm going to step on some toes right now. So go ahead and prepare yourselves. Uh, but somebody in here, you need to pull your checkbook back out. Don't look me off. Don't look me off. I'm right here. I'm right here. Don't look me off. Because God says, bring an offering to me that, that, that you give from your heart and not your head. And, 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 and for far too long, some of us have been doing figures, yeah, 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 when we prepare to bring God an offering, uh-huh, yeah, we take everything else into account before we give God what belongs to him. Y'all see how quiet it got in here? See how quiet it got in here? But beloved, I admonish you uh, uh -huh, to if you did not do the right thing this morning, uh, you need to do the right thing before you leave the house of God this morning because some of us in this house know that God has been unusually to us. God has been unusually special to us. And you know, we bet we trying to hide. We don't want to tell nobody, but the devil is a liar. Some of us know that God has done some unique, some special, some out of the box, some, some miraculous thing that our minds could not even consider. 
seated, but we sit in the house of God this morning and somebody know that you have not been honest with God. need to get that out. <laughs> Don't leave without doing the right thing. He says, he puts a condition on it. Your heart got to be right. You see, in terms of giving, the heart is the acting agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heart is the acting agent when it comes to giving to God. The people brought sacrifices every day. Every day. Every morning they brought gifts to the Lord. Every day. Well, why, preacher? Because he blessed them every day. The people understood that every day is a day of thanksgiving, not just in November, not just come Christmas time, not just come Easter time. But every day is a day of thanksgiving. God says to bring me an offering as the heart prompts them to. You see, God understands that a grateful heart will give its best. You see, when our best connects with God's best, heaven responds. Yeah, 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 yeah. God knows what he's created in us. He knows he gave us his best uh -huh, in Jesus Christ. And he knows when we are operating at our best, he knows that our heart will do something out of the ordinary. Oh, when's the last time you did something out of the ordinary for God? Oh, Usher, I know you stand on the door week after week, but you'll do that week after week. You're accustomed to doing that. Quiet, I know you sing on Sunday. I know that, and I appreciate that, but you'll do that every week. When the last time you did something out of the ordinary for God? Well, wait a minute, let me ask this question. When the last time God did something out of the ordinary for you? Uh-huh. And see, uh -huh. and see, some of you might have problems trying to remember, but can I tell you something? He did some out of the ordinary this morning when he touched you and gave you the ability to get up out of your bed. But you see, what we do, we get accustomed to God waking us up. Somebody woke up yesterday, they didn't wake up today. Yeah, 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 we get accustomed to God, yeah, keeping up, keeping up on the job, but I now, I believe I know some folks that know what it is to go to, to, go to a job on, on Friday expecting to have a good weekend now, and go back to work on Monday, but they tell you on Friday on your way out the door, they give a no and we no longer need the services. Yeah, he, he knows that his real children. Oh, okay. Okay. I said his real children. You see, there's a whole lot of folk from the church claiming to be. That's all right. Just let him rock you a little bit. Let him rock you a little bit. But he knows his real children. They get from the heart and not from the head. And God also knows what he has done for his children. You see, there's some things that God has done for us that we don't even have knowledge of yet. There's some blessings that God is setting up for us that we cannot even comprehend. Now, somebody is bound right now and you don't know that God has a blessing on the other side 
the storm because all you can see is the storm and you don't know that, that, that you cry now but, but God has a blessing in store for you and all God wants you to do is be obedient to the word of God and if God says bring me something I need you to bring me something I, so I can give you the look of God they don't, they, they, they don't know why yeah, you able to keep your sanity out huh? and know that all hell is breaking out around you. Huh? They don't know why your family huh? has been able to stay together huh? and you're on the verge of losing your home. Huh? They don't know how you and your husband huh? was able, been able to stay together all these years. Huh? When all the hell y'all have gone through that, that's no no. Huh? You were giving to me, huh? and I just want you to know huh? that what you gave me, I'm going to turn it around and it's going to be a blessing for you. Huh? And if I believe that word this morning, huh? don't you stop being obedient. Huh? You keep on hanging on huh? to every word God says. Huh? If God said it, huh? that's for that. I believe it huh? and that settles it out. Huh? The God we serve is always ready to do something out of the ordinary. Can, can, can I help you? He's doing something out of the ordinary right now. Ain't that right, trustees? Ain't that right, trustees? He's doing something out of the ordinary right now. Because we know what we was a year ago this time. Don't we, don't we stewards up? But he's doing something out of the ordinary right now. No problem. Don't you sit that quiet on me. Huh? You, you, you better recognize huh? God is doing something special in our house right now. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. He just wants his children, his people, to give him something to work with. Oh, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Did you get a Lord anything to work with this morning? <laughs> I'm trying to help you. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help you. You got to give him something to work with. And don't you know the Israelites had every reason to bring the Lord a blessing every day? 400 years, over 400 years of slavery. Pharaoh, what is full of them now? Yeah. But look at what God did. Yeah. Even in the midst of their circumstances, God made them multiply. Yeah. That's the way God will do if you trust Him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You might not, you might not have all the worldly resources that you need, but if you trust God, He'll take your little bit. He just won't, he don't make that thing multiply. That's the kind of God we serve. All he wants us to do is be faithful to him. Just, just do it my way and watch what I do. I make people jaw drop. I have people asking, what in the world is going on? How are you doing? What you do? Well, you need to come to my church. So, 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 so you get the same word that I'm getting. You need to come to my church school and my Bible study. Matter of fact, get on the prayer line every now and again and have a little talk with Jesus. And maybe God will start doing something in your life. First Chronicles 29, 1 through 5. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say thank you to my, my finance team for this one right here. I gotta say thank you to my finance team. First Chronicles 29, 1 through 5. Verse 3 says, And also because I have delighted in the house of my God, out of my own treasure of gold and silver, I have given to the house 
of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the house of God. Yeah, yeah, David said, I'm giving from the heart. Lord, I know I done set some aside for you, but I want to give over and above what I had set aside for you. David is giving from the heart and not the head. Because David has lived long enough to understand what is required of the Lord for his temple. David understood what it took to hold it all together. He knew that his son Solomon was young and inexperienced. But God had chosen him. And I know it's hope that they say he's young and inexperienced. But I know what it takes to hold this thing together. It's not because of man, but it's because of God. And nobody gives the credit for what God is doing. And for God, I live and for God, I die. And I, I'm just sorry. I figured out how this thing works. And I figured out how to hold this thing together. So when the hell hounds get on my track, and when things don't start going crazy, in my life, I just say, I give to you, God. I'm, I'm in your child, and you thought enough of me to share these blessings with me, but I, I want to give you a little bit more than what I've been doing, God. Because huh? you've been just that good to me. And I, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, huh? but you might be like David. Huh? You might say, God, huh? But let me put a little more on it. Huh? Let me put a little more. Let me put some more icing on the cake. Huh? Because when I think huh, of the goodness huh, of God and all he's done for me, huh, my soul huh, cries out hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, God. Huh? You didn't have to heal my body, huh? but you did. Huh? You didn't have to save my child. Huh? What you did, you didn't have to save my marriage. What you did, I know the folk gave me my pink slip, but I ain't missed a meal. The lights are still on. I can put high gas in my car and get everywhere I need to go because the Lord has been good to me. Let me check the room. Is there a witness in the house? That can certify, that can clarify, that can confirm. God is the King of Kings. God is the Lord of Lords. And when I look back, I don't have to wonder. I know I made it. It was God all by itself. Shout yeah! of God's instructions. It was complete. Now watch this. It was complete in its physical dimensions. But it wasn't finished yet. The spiritual yeah uh-huh the spiritual is not predicated on our physical ability. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. The only input that the people have in regards to Shekinah glory showing up is their ability to be obedient. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to get a little uncomfortable, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God has faith in you. Have you let him down? God says, I'm going to give you this. I know you don't deserve it, but I'm going to give it to you in the house. You ain't smart enough for it, but I'm going to give it to you in the house. Because I just want to see and you will be faithful with it. Yeah. I want to know if you're going to stack your clothes. 
Vamos ver.
because God has been running interference for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just didn't stay in front of you, uh, but he got in behind you. Uh, he got in, he got in between you and your enemies. Uh, he got between you and all them devils uh, that was trying to kill you. Uh, you want to know why you even still got that job up? Uh, well, baby, they were thinking about firing you uh, a year ago this time. Uh, but the cloud moved uh, from in front of you uh, to behind you uh, to run interference uh, for you. Uh, that's the only reason you still on that job. Uh, you know your annual reports, uh, they ain't been that good. Uh, you know you've been slipping up. You know you ain't been doing the right thing. Uh, but the cloud shifted up uh, from the front to the back. Uh, and God been running in a spirit uh, all this time. Wait a minute, my Oliver. Uh, you want to know why it is as it is? Uh, God been running in a spirit uh, all this time. Uh, when you didn't have a clue uh, what was going on and you didn't know what the church was going to do, the cloud was behind you. I, I know you could see it out in front uh, because it shifted on you. Uh, it's been running in a series all this time. Uh, you want to know why you had gone crazy uh, when you got all the hell breaking loose around you? Uh, the cloud uh, it's running interference on you. Huh? And I'm just so glad huh, that I got a God. Huh? He'll run interference. Huh? He'll stop lies. Huh? He'll stop backbiters. Huh? He'll stop evil doers in that track. Huh? That's the kind of God we serve. Huh? He'll say, I'll shift on you. Huh? You will look for me over here. Huh? But I'll pop up over here. Huh? That's the kind of God I am. Huh? This is my world. Huh? This is my universe. Huh? I can go where I want to go. Huh? I can bless you. I want to bless you. Huh? I don't care how, how, how hot it gets. Huh? I'll shift over you. Huh? I'll keep you cool. Huh? In the midst of a hot situation. Huh? It's God ever kept somebody cool. Huh? Lord 